Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Industrial brand management company Barlow World celebrated its 75th year on the JSC earlier this month, making it one of only nine companies to have achieved the milestone. Megan van Vanguard tells us more. Speaking at the celebrations at the JSE in Johannesburg, CEO Clive Thompson explained why the company had remained successful and stood the test of time. Thompson further celebrated by blowing the JSE ceremonial kudu horn. It's very important uh, for companies these days to do the right things for the longer term and to be sustainable and, and durable. And I think having been around for 75 years is a, a significant milestone in the sense that it, it signifies the, the durability and sustainability uh, of the company. And uh, these days listed companies tend to be around for much shorter periods of time and I think this has been evidence of our ability to evolve and adapt with the times and remain relevant and make sure that our value proposition to our customer base uh, remains fit for purpose. One has to evolve and adapt one's business model uh, to align with changes in the external environment. I think if one, uh, you know, at the rate at which the world is moving, at the rate at which industries are moving, uh, a successful business model today is a bankrupt company tomorrow. So, you know, one can never rest on one's laurels. One's got to continually adapt, change, move into new business segments, exit businesses which are maybe coming to the end of their product life cycle uh, to remain relevant and to remain sustainable. The company will continue to look at expanding its footprint in years to come. We have a, a relatively wide uh, international footprint, but I think over time, in addition to growing the company organically, uh, we would be looking at uh, acquisitive growth, uh, expanding our footprint on the, on the international stage. To expand where one's got a, an existing presence and footprint, because one's got people and one's got uh, knowledge of the local uh, economies and, and region. So uh, where we could expand our footprint, it would be lo most logical to do it in, in, in Africa. Um, uh, either Southern Africa or where we've got a, a growing presence in, in East and West Africa. Uh, also in, in Russia, uh, because we operate across a large part of uh, Russian territory in Siberia and the Russian Far East. But also in Europe because of our presence in, in Spain, Portugal and the UK. Any new acquisition has to have a good strategic fit with Barla World and we have to be able to leverage our existing core capabilities or competencies to make those acquisitions successful. So those acquisitions would likely come in areas where we currently operate, although they could be in slightly adjacent uh, markets. In, in other words, in, in the broad sector where we operate, but, but maybe in something slightly different to what we, what we currently do. Other news making headlines this week, implementation of change in the industry increases legitimacy. Amid the challenges faced by the South African logistics industry, logistics companies should consider change to mitigate inefficiencies in their operations. I think the logistics industry right now is facing some significant challenges in terms of inefficiencies that have crept in over the, over the good times. And as we go into a world now where, where value add becomes more important, the, the logistics industry really n is in a state of flux and requiring, of a, requiring a new model and changes to take place in the model. Mm -hmm. um, specifically in South Africa, we've, we've allowed a lot of inefficiencies to develop in, in our logistics methodology and the way we, uh, we undertake logistics. The logistics industry needs to move towards a, a more efficient model uh, where the companies are actually offering a value add. The situation we have right now where companies are simply buying and selling on a, on a margin is not a sustainable model. Um, companies are not adding value to what they're doing and with the requirements of cheaper prices, more compliance, more le legislation, we really need to have a situation where the, the logistics industry becomes clearer and uh, more open. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.